Welcome to Attican Plays Sweet Transit. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 1, Episode 20 of our first look at Sweet Transit. Now, in the last episode or two, I have to put them together because they were really one big long one. 18 and 19 were really the same file, and I split it because it got so long. Um, we corrected my huge blunder, my misreading of the um, uh, double double speed tracks and how you set that up. And uh, fortunately, now we've caught that error. We've got that all straightened out. And we've got much more tracks running. And uh, one thing I did, Johnny uh, Hughes sent a, a note on the original number 18. <laughs> Was it the original or the second original? <laughs> Let me think about this. <laughs> the second original. There was an 18, and then I redid it because I realized this mistake, and I didn't want to keep going and keep building uh, videos on top of a mistake. So I redid 18, and then I uh, put 18 out there. The new was 18.2 out there, and it had audio problems, so I had to re-edit it and put out 18.3s. So on 18.2, Johnny Hodges made some comments, but... Some of his comments were based on the fact he didn't hear all the narration of what was going on here. But a couple of things, uh, he was absolutely right about one right here, regardless. Um, needed to put a chain signal right here to use both these tracks. Now, we were seeing both tracks getting used, but it wasn't actually wasn't proper. You could easily have one where they just run down here and wait and queue up there. But um, at any rate, th this, this fixes that. So now this chain signal... Will will tell you you can go once one of the whenever one of these is available you'll go to the one that's available and otherwise you just kind of just fight your way all the way up here until it's your turn to go out okay that's one and number two was over here I did set up um, I realized after I looked at this everything we're doing right now into this warehouse is on this side except for the wood the wood's the only thing going to this side so I thought okay fine so. I now have this line coming off like this. So you got a decision point. You can either go to this uh, platform or this one. So now this one's dedicated to wood because nobody else can get there. And this one's actually shared between these folks and these folks, the wood. The wood is this. Anybody else we add to the system here is gonna come down this line and they're gonna share this line. So if this one happens to be empty and you can get in there and unload some wood, fine. And it really works out nicely because the wood is, our upkeep is now up to 537. So we're going through the wood pretty quickly. And it's nice to have the two trains. That way there's always one in there because they don't unload at exactly the same moment. And there's always one in there still unloading. So we keep this up at 1499, 1500 all the time, 1149, 1150 all the time, 800, 799, 800 all the time. The stone uh, different. We're going to we're going to address that first before we get into um, our target for today, which is dairy. We want to get into milk and cheese. So, um, I want to build up our stone production. I think the easiest way to do that is go down here to Quarry Two to Chesapeake, and we we can you know click on this bring up the quarry, and we can see that it'll be very easy for us to add quarries. There's a couple can go right there. Some more can go down through here. That's why we picked this spot. So let's throw, let's just throw down a couple more quarries. Uh, I always forget to uh, click on them, but uh, one, two, three, extra storage. I mean, control click so I can keep it. And let's throw down another one and keep it in my cursor and put one, two, three, four. So now we've got two down here with extra storage. We've just added 40 jobs. So we're going to need to look at our train that does um, the passengers from Chesapeake. And now it's going to have to bring 100. So that might as well be 120. So we're going to uh, uh, upgrade it to a, to a 120 or a P3, whatever it's called. P3. There we go. Confirm that. So now... Now we've got enough workers, in theory, going down here to the quarry. We've certainly got we've got the train to haul it over here. Uh, it's actually, uh, strangely enough, could use some help, believe it or not. It could use another one uh, to keep up. 
but on the other hand, not really, because we've got plenty over here. So we'll keep with this for now. If we need to, we'll throw another train in here. And now that we've put two more down here, that'll allow, allow us to put five up here. Remember, they kind of go in, in uh, sets. Two, two uh, quarries to five stone cutters in your city, because these only do 12, and these do uh, 30 a piece, which is 60, 12 times five, 60. All right, so let's go in here and put in uh, stoneworks. Let's put them uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can put a road up through here like this, and we can give them a storage facility like that. Run it for a minute, get all the jobs filled, and we created five times 20, 100 jobs. So let's put a, at least a couple hundred people back into Chesapeake. And what we're going to need to do is upgrade the roads because we've done very little of that in Chesapeake. Let's upgrade our roads coming out of here and up through here. Out of here and up through, well, as far as it'll let us go, which isn't very far. All right, let's wait till we get some more stone. We need more stone so that we can make more stone. It's a typical of this game, typical. It's just, I mean, it's a pattern we see repeating over and over. We've got a couple of trains of stone pulling in as we speak, so that's cool. All right, so we got should have plenty. Let's just, and remember our thing is, if you have it, spend it. Don't hold it. It, it does you no good. You can't accumulate. You can't hold, keep it. You can't sell the excess for profit, so you might as well use it. Uh... Man, look at this, how fast you go through 900 stone. Well, keep in mind we're using it too. We're using it at a, at a pace of 274, which is almost equal to our production. But, uh, that's one of the reasons we're doing this. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and build up some roads. We'll make some nice roads in, in Chesapeake. Got her down to zero again. That's no good. I keep overdoing it, but I, 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 I would, I, I would say I care, but I don't. Okay. Here comes some more. Upgrade all of that. No. That and that. Okay. And how about out here? All right, now, now we got some roads. And what did I say, 100 jobs, couple hundred, 30, three, and six. Let's, let's do, actually, let's do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and we created two problems. Let's put in some water up here and up here. And then let's look at our total in Chesapeake for fish would be, okay, good. Uh, no, we're actually good. We're, we're producing 80, and we only need 70, so we're, we don't even need to put in more fish. So we're going to grow Chesapeake a little bit. We're going to uh, have more stone cutting going on, so we should be able to get this going. Ah, ah. And uh, we could have solved the wrong problem. Possible. What we need to do is put another train on the Chesapeake to warehouse uh, stone. And I think what we're gonna do here, it's getting crowded on that side. I think I'd like to have, um, have it go to the other side. I think we're gonna build a route here that says uh, cut uh, stone, Chesapeake freight to warehouse. And we're gonna say, um, and I don't know why that's red. Why is that? Why in the world would that? Oh, because it's inactive. Okay. We're going to load uh, full. <laughs> We're going to quit racing off. We're going to go to the warehouse. But we're going to tell it to do this. We're going to tell it to go up here and come in on that. Yeah, and uh, on the way there. 
So from Chesapeake, come in on that. That should, now what kind of route did it decide to take? It decided to go through here which is a perfectly legit way to go, but I actually think that we have more traffic here. So what I wanna do is force it to go over here. So we're gonna add another waypoint here. And we're gonna say the first thing you do is go there. So now we're kind of telling it, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're telling it that we want you to go up like this around, come in, drop off, and then, and then work your way back down. There we go. So that's load full, take your two waypoints, unload in here, and we want you to unload to your empty. So we got this new line, cut stone Chesapeake freight to warehouse. And let's get a, um, get a train going on that. So we'll get a, uh, I think it's a flat car should be. Yes, a, uh, a large flat car train, ST flat 22, there we go. Build that baby and put it on our new route, which is the uh, Cutstone Chesapeake Freight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 could there be two of them? Doggone it. Uh, I'm gonna call this one Warehouse south there that was the problem it was telling us we had to the name was a duplicate okay that makes more sense okay control t uh now we can go cut stone chesapeake warehouse south and i'm thinking that is just the south side of the warehouse versus <laughs> the north side of the warehouse warehouse okay let's let's see how that goes And we may actually, I don't know if we're gonna convert this to a double speed or not. We, now that we know we can get five double speed stations. The thing of it is though, we've got some of those things that are just sitting there unloading slowly. The clothes, the potatoes, the uh, uh, bread coming down from Proctorville. Uh, the speed is not the issue with them. So here's our first thing that's not wood coming into the south side of our warehouse under our new configuration. And it can just sit there and unload until it's done and go. Okay, good deal. All right, I think that helped a lot. All right. Wow, we have no problems. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right, so now we want to get into the dairy business. And I think we're better off now. now. Now look at these numbers. These look good. The coal is down. We just fired up a new train. We've got more coal ready here. We are good to go on all of that. So our supplies are in great shape. Everything's working beautifully. Uh, we've got most of our trains up here, which means that we quite literally cannot accept it fast enough. And now here I'll go with the warehouse discussion again. I could put a bigger cap. We could put more warehouse on here. What would be the point? Uh, because, you know, would there be less queuing? Sure. Would we have more storage? Sure. Would we be paying more to, to uh, maintain it? Yes, yes we would. So we're just gonna stay right where we are for now. And you'll notice our income went up a lot there. Why? Well, because we just put in a bunch of houses here that are nice, happy people, happy laborers in uh, uh, Chesapeake giving us 240 a minute per house. I think we put in eight, didn't we? So that's eight, to, that's, you know, 16, 1700 a minute that we put in there. All right, so uh, where are we? We want to get to dairy. We need 1400 craftsmen. We're going to go down here and upgrade a couple more houses when we need 275. There were 35. We're gonna have to do about eight of them, I think. That's what it looks like to me. Let's do, uh, oh, and the main, our main thing is who's, who's touching the bar. So those two are, yeah. And these two would be, 
that's four. And uh, where are we on that goal? We need 50 more, which would be two more, two more update, updates uh, right here. These two right here. Okay. We've unlocked the dairy farm. And we've actually increased our tax base because now we've got more happy, uh, and this is growing, this is going to get bigger. Our, our money will go up, so we've got more happy craftsmen paying more taxes. We've got a little less on the uh, um, labor residences, so I want to see how far can we stretch these two stations. And you may have guessed we're going to start adding them onto this one eventually to make the city even bigger. Uh, let's just see. We know we can go here. Can we go out here behind it? Looks like it. We know we can go here. That's four, five. Uh, how about out here? Six, seven. Eight, anything over here? Oh yeah, nine, ten. So we, well, I just built ten in. I only took out seven, so we're actually going to gain a little population. That's fine with me, as long as we've got our fish correct. Yes, our production's bigger. We're two o four consumption now, so two o four. Oh, what's the shirts? Two thirty three. So we gotta go down here, unfortunately, we don't have a report for this, hint, hint. But uh, down here, we want, and no, we don't care about that. Uh, yeah, let's see, 82, 82, and what did I say up here? I have no idea. 233, 235, three, yeah, we're good. We're producing more than we're, we're consuming, we're good. All right, so we should raise our, uh, yeah, we raised our money up a lot. Okay, so now we've been able to absorb a bar and still make money on it. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> you just put more craftsmen around it. You don't have to build two or three. You just need one with your craftsmen circling it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, so uh, now we should be able to go out, I think, and put in a dairy farm. Yes, we can. Okay. And look at that sucker. It's huge. And, okay. Now, the way I understand this, I haven't played with this much, but I, my belief is, from what I've seen, is that the dairy farm is going to work very much like a wheat farm or something else. Although, interestingly enough, it's going to need wheat. It's sort of like the cattle farm, I think, would be the closest analogy we've got. Like, it works like the cattle farm. In fact, it is cows, uh, you're going to have a big thing of cows, and they're going to need wheat for food, and they're going to produce uh, milk. And let's see how that goes. It says, you produce it, the wheat comes to your dairy farm, you get milk, that goes to what looks like this guy, which is your cheese factory. It makes cheese, and your cheese... I'm sorry, I can't point. I can point. Here we go. Good. So you get wheat to your dairy farm. Dairy farm produces milk. You take the milk to the, and I don't know how we're going to do that, but somehow you can take milk to the, uh, I have an idea. But uh, right now I don't think we have that capability. But you take the milk to the cheese factory, you make cheese, and the cheese goes to the town. And, and, uh, to, t to a town hall and gets uh, um, <laughs> sorry, what am I saying? And 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 uh, is consumed in the town, and we've already seen that that it's consumed by the uh, by these dudes. But here's the beauty of this: uh, I've said this before, but look at this: if we can get um, 
our craftsmen, if we can get them cheese, these 35 caps gonna to go to 50. So there's gonna be 50 craftsmen in each one of these buildings. And they're gonna pay us another two. So they're gonna pay us 11 plus two. They're paying us five for their base because they're craftsmen, two for the clothes, one for the bread, three for the meat. And they're gonna pay us two more for the cheese. That's gonna be 13 coins times 50 for each residence that we have. So that's, that's how you pay for a bar very easily. Okay, so um, let's go. So, so we know we need big fields for, for the dairy, right? And the dairy has to be hooked, is gonna need a, a train station like everything in this game. And we're gonna take that to the cheese factory and the cheese factory is gonna to have to go back to the town where we need it, which in our case will be Proctorville. And, and then eventually maybe Chesapeake. And um, we have to get wheat out to the dairy. So I'm thinking the dairy is gonna go out here. We got a nice area out here to put the dairy. And we'll put our cheese somewhere like, you know, the dairy, will, you know, the train line will come like this hook into our main system here, and we're gonna clean up this mess. That's the next mess we wanna clean up. And we'll have our cheese here. So dairy, cheese, hook to the system and go. And we'll have a train that goes in here and pulls out wheat and comes out here just like the one that we have going to the cattle. And we're gonna make sure we've got enough wheat coming into Proctorville to be able to do all this and not shut down our creation of uh, bread and, and uh, beer and all that good stuff, right? Okay, so all that was to say, we're gonna put a distribution center out here. And then we're gonna leave some space on the edges and some space here where we can put a station. And the way this is lining up, I think, and given that we got this water down here, I think our station is gonna be along here. Yeah, and then we're gonna have our cattle farms out here yeah, I think that's I think that's where we are. So just plop it down and shut up. Okay, so let's go over here to put to to our station. Now let's go out this way. Let's just go out here to this corner, and on the corner of the map, we'll put uh, a dairy farm. So that would look like what? Would look like this. We can put it right there on the corner and we can give it eight storage. Two, four, six, eight. And then we can give it its uh, cow pastures. And right, we can go up this way. And we can't, as it reserves one on the, on the edges, obviously. Uh, See how far do we have to go to get 240? Let's go the other way for a bit. For a bit and then finish it off this way. There we go. There's our there's our cow pasture. Here's our storage for our milk. Here's our dairy farm. This is connected to a dairy farm. We're gonna put a station right here. We're gonna put our small fast station, which would be, uh, did, we build, did, did we build one? I can't remember. I think we did for hops, didn't we? Uh, where's hops? Right here. Yeah, there we go, a small fast station. Just what we, no, no, no. We need a, um, We need a loading platform, a passenger platform, and an unloading platform because we want to get the uh, um, wheat in there. So we can copy this one. I don't think we have a three anywhere. If we do, I'm not, I'm not remembering it. It doesn't matter. We could build it from scratch if we needed to. There we go. So there's our model. We're going to go out here to this corner, flip it around, and put it in here like... Make sure this looks good. Uh, yeah, got room there. Got room right there. Yeah. Okay. Dairy farm one. 
and we need to extend it. Uh, we need to put one more line, like so. Track like so. And we're gonna want it all to go this way, right? It's all gonna go out that way. Okay. Uh, like that. And our, our main line is gonna kinda of run through here. So we, we can just like, Here's our main line coming up, and it, it can go right through there like that. Like that. It has to hook, up, hook in with this, so this can turn hard and go like that. So these, this is the incoming, and we don't, uh, we don't actually need this. Okay, you'll come in there, you'll go out like this. Well, let's see. Actually, why don't we just, ah, why don't we just run it like this. There we go. And you need to be able to get on that track right there and make your decision which one you want. Like so. There's three there. They're equally fast. We don't care which one any one of our trains takes. So we don't have to do any special requirements or anything. And at least now, and if we add, have to add more trains, that would be different. And we want this main line to kind of run down here like this. and hook into this system, all right? So we wanna be able to hook in easily, and we're gonna have something over here that's probably gonna hook into it as well. So we can put our little standard T-junction here. Um, right now we don't need anything down here, We may that may change. If it does, we can upgrade the T to a, uh, uh, a four-way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I, I, hmm. I'm not sure how wide the uh, this guy is. Uh, let's see. Take everything we need. Okay. And take him over here. All right. <laughs> Shoot. Just make enough space, for goodness sake. Um... Okay, there, there's the connection for our main line to come down. Uh, let's see, and go. Like this. Okay. There's a connection. Our main line is now connected into uh, this, which gives us gives us route all the way back to Proctorville Freight. And then we want to have our cheese dealy. And I don't. Th I think the cheese factory works sort of like the brick works, according to a post that Johnny Hodges put out there. Uh, I think it's sort of like a, a standalone deal. If we put it over here like this, we're going to want to have a station here. So let's let's put it right over here on this edge, like this. And and uh, we need some stone. 
which we're getting back fairly quickly. We're going through a lot of bricks here too. Probably boosting our upkeep, yep, yep, everything. Okay, um, slow it down. Let's put it all the way back here like that. And then we'll figure out how does it work. Cheese production plant. Production multiplies a certain number of structures are adjacent. It's probably the milk storage has to be adjacent to it. We're going to stop this so I can think a little bit. And if we do this, if we build a like this, What's this footprint? Two by three, one by two. Now what's the, I think they're the same as the brickworks. Uh, a brickworks is a, no, it's a two by two. And the drying yards are one by two. Interesting. So in the same space, you can actually get more. Uh, let's see. I want to build that. Oh, we're out of. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm picking the wrong one. I need, uh, did you see that? I, I picked uh, a bridge from something else, well, or a road, basically from the brickworks. Needs to be on this menu to expand, right? And then you need to have a bunch of brick, or a stone, so let's wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, two, four, six, um, one, two, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to guess that the same thing will work if we put this right there like that, and then we start putting these in uh, up against it, uh, which side, let's do it like that, one, two, ooh, well look at all the brick it takes, ow, okay. Each one takes 200 brick. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Now, what is its uh, production? A two. And I wish I'd thought, and I think what I'm going to do is take that off says its production is still two. Uh, I'm not sure I get that. Uh, uh, it's still two. Oh, oh, well, let's see. We definitely need this road to go around here. Definitely need... Man, are we ripping through the... <laughs> this is great. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now what are you? Plus eight. Oh, yeah. okay. Now we're seeing some benefit. Let's see how far we can take this. We're going to keep adding them until we aren't getting more. That's ten. That's 12. That's 14. That's 16. get the road going this way to make it connect, okay? Wasn't that 16 before? Let me get rid of one. 16 looks like the max because if we put another one on it, and I'll put it here in a bit for there, no doubt it's definitely connected to it. It's no benefit. So 16 is the most you can get. 
So I would think you'd want your configuration to look something like one, two, three, uh, three, four, five, six. That's it, six, that's 12. Uh, seven, eight, eight like that. Yeah, nine, 18, well now it's 18. What in the world? Wait on some brick. That's 20. Good Lord. Is there any limit? All right, I'm, I'm confused. It looked like it stopped at 16. Now we've gotten to 20. Now it looks like it stopped at 20. We're probably killing ourselves. Look at our incomes down to 2,000. We're killing ourselves with all this stuff, but I wanna find out what the limits are. And what could you actually plan on? And there's no reason to have two of these when one of them would do the job. I'm talking about the cheese factories. Okay, it's a 20, guys, it's a 22. What in the world? Oh, you know what I've been, I've, sometimes I'm reading the workforce. Now it's at 24. It looks like however many you can stack in there touching it. And that would be all of them. That's a full, that's all you can get. And what's our production now? 26. So you can get 26. I don't think adding one out here or here would do it. I think they define close proximity as literally touching, butted up against it, and the uh, corners. So you get three, six, ten. You can get 13 butted up against it, which gives you 13 times plus times two, I guess, 26. We seem to get two for each one. And I think if we put another one, I'm just going to run it. Let's put another one out here, and I think I don't think we're going to get past 26. I think that's going to be the end. Because one out here, well, it looks close. It's not actually, this one has got the corner, this one's got that corner, this one's got that corner, and this one's got that corner. So let's put one more out here and see if we don't stay at 26. Yeah, we do. All right. So that's what we need right there. That's a, that's a production of 26 cheese. So that one factory right there was how many laborers we got here? Uh, how many residences? We've got um, craftsmen, 29. That one would feed almost all of uh, Proctorville, which also says we need another one. <laughs> <laughs> in order to feed all of Proctorville. But let's stick with the one till we get it going. Uh, now, what have we done to our... Okay, our money's down to nothing now. But when we get the cheese, it'll go right back up. See, this, is the, this game is just like that. Everything about this game is all about... Uh, Okay, you're totally messed up. You need a lot of stuff. You're not going to make it. You got to expand. You expand first, and then you get the benefit after you expand, which I guess is, you know, kind of fair, isn't it? Uh, okay, that's the end. We'll put our station right out here. Now, the cheese is going to have an in and out and passenger, so it's going to need to be like this one. So we'll, we'll just copy this guy. Uh, the, the in and out part will probably change, but the basic configuration of it needs to look 
just like that. So we got Cheese Factory 1. And I'd like to set it up. Well, we want we want a a, a T junction. Do I want two T junctions? One off, one on. Well, no, the off can just be. I tell you what, we are going to do though. This is almost going to be like a railway empire thing. We're going to build a ramp up here. That's at least twenty two long. And do like that. So when you're coming this way and you want to go over here, you're going to take this exit and come down. And if you're coming this way, you're going to take a bridge and go over. Um, and the bridge is going to be back a ways, I think. Like that. Like that. And I actually want it to be relatively, not long, but I don't want it to be short. Okay, come on down, come on down like that. Okay, you'll take that exit, you'll come in like this. And here you can kind of turn hard and, no. that and all that. okay so you can get coming this way you can get off over the bridge coming from up there you can get off on this exit line and come in and then when you go out uh, you you could go both ways so you're going to need to need a bridge over and you're going to need a, a right turn but I want to again give it some space I don't want it to just be just dumping right out in there not that it matters in this case because we don't have a lot of traffic down here, but that could change. We don't know what's coming. We don't know what's going to happen with the oil, for one thing. So you're coming off like this. Let's just have you come down like this to a bridge, like so. And you're going to turn like this and go back on. Or you could come off like this. We could try to do one of those nice little neat ones like uh, Johnny did for his his generic T like that. Uh, that's kind of kind of cool. All right. Uh, that gets you on and off in both directions. And you're still, we're still all connected up to go all the way out here. So that that all should should be good. Uh, signals, signals here and here and here. I, that color and that color were so close. I, I was afraid they were one color, and I couldn't. It, and my mind wouldn't, couldn't wrap my mind around that. But they weren't the same color, so it didn't matter. Let's go like that. Okay. Let's come out of here. Oh, we need an exit here, and then we need some signals this way. We need to be able to drag signals back this way. That would do them every 10, doesn't matter, 10, 11, I've said this before, 10, 11, 5, 4, it doesn't matter. In fact, the smaller ones, probably better. Uh, okay, cheese factory, go, go, go. Down here, we need some signals. And then back this way, same thing. There we go, so there, there there's our basic infrastructure hooked into the system now I want to do some serious cleanup because this sucks I mean it's fine 
you know, I shouldn't say it. It works. We could just leave it. I would, you know what? Oh, oh, we, God, we still got this. Mm. We still got this junk right here. Now, what if, what if we took this track? What if we got rid of... All of this. And what if we ran... And remember, the part that looks diagonal is square, and the part that looks square is diagonal. So, what if we did this? What if we said, you're not going to do... Okay, i just get rid of that. Uh, okay. What if you're going to come out more like over here? This is... Is that right? Yeah. This is your main line down, and here's your main line back yeah and then uh, I'm gonna go offline finish this up this part up here kind of remodeling this and come back and walk you through it I think it'll be better than than uh, all the uh, humming and hawing and erring and thinking and deleting and all this stuff that I'm about to do all right, I'm back. So let me show you the mess I've made. We'll walk through that and, uh, and then we'll play a little bit and that'll be the end of this video. So we've got, we've got, um, and I don't remember what, what all I've shown you, but we've got our uh, dairy farm out here, out here on the very edge of the map. And we've got our dairy farm station. We've got the fast track, we've got, uh, one for loading, one for unloading, one for passengers, because we're going to bring workers out there. We're going to bring wheat out there. We're going to take uh, our milk somewhere else. So we've got a line that comes out. You can go down to the milk, come in, come in like so, drop off the milk. Drop off the milk at the uh, Cheesecake Factory here. We've got this overly efficient cheesecake uh, factory or cheese factory that's producing 26, which is not quite enough to feed all of Proctorville right now as it stands, but that's okay. And when we do get a, get them, start feeding them, we'll uh, uh, we'll see our money go go up a lot. So, um, and and then this will take cheese to Proctorville freight. And, or, and I've renamed them. I've renamed this. This is going to be just, it's just another station now. This is Proctorville South. Renamed this one to Proctorville East. And this one up here to Proctorville North. So, um, so we've got our three stations in Proctorville. We're also going to build in Proctorville. And, I, 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 well, and the main thing I dealt with was this down here. Uh, got this now so it's, it's more like mainline track and you it's all connected up and you can go wherever you need to go and we've got you know the quarry connected into it we've got the cattle ranch connected back in and this coal mine and cleaned up this loop here and put one of our uh the i'm just going to call him johnny from now on since i mess up his name so much uh the johnny t t junctions here and i also was able to get the string uh, and get the uh, Johnny's version of the um, cloverleaf, which is a little smaller footprint and it's prettier than mine, so uh, we'll, we'll use it. It's, it's much prettier and it is a smaller footprint, so that's all good. Use that here so that the main line could come down like this and you'd have the option of going down this way, down to the cheese and the cheese factory and the coal mine. And, and you could also build another line this way wrapped it around like this to go to the dairy farm because the dairy farm is going to need passengers from Proctorville which is over here so this gives them a more direct shot like this and yeah you know, well like like this from here over to here 
And then we also need to be bringing wheat from Proctorville, so that's, again, from here to here. And then this side of it is to get the cheese and keep this uh, coal mine in. You notice I also moved the main line up. It was down here. I moved it up here, and that puts this off the main line, which I kind of like. I like them away a little bit. And then reconnected this with a, with a kind of our generic... Uh, T junction to the coal mine. So everything's cool and it all works and it's all good. Seems to be. So there we are. Now, if we look at our, let's take stock of where we are. Great shape on wood, even though we're up to 562 upkeep. Great shape on our stone because we've added some stone down here. We're getting better production in Chesapeake and we're shipping more of it off to the warehouse. Our brick is in good shape. Um, we're basically unloading it as fast as we can. Right now we're getting another another load, uh, getting some more loaded up to go. And I would it wouldn't be a bad thing to have a second train on this line. This is very cramped, but we could have have our top and tail running two trains back and forth. Wouldn't that would not be a bad thing. Uh, but for, for now, we'll keep it like this. And one of the reasons we're down on the bricks at the moment is that uh, you used amazing numbers of bricks to play with this and to build out this whole uh, milk and cheese kind of deal. So um, I think the, the, but now, so we're good there, the coal's good, but our money is really important. Look at that, we've spent down from 1.7 million to like 700. We've spent about a million. We're down a million in money that we've spent just building stuff. And then our income is the main thing. It's down to 930. Well, that's okay, but, it, but, it, but we don't, we're not gonna accept that. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do to get our income back up is we're gonna go in here and we're going to uh, upgrade our roads. We'll upgrade these roads and then we're gonna pull a road like this. And like so, and down from uh, down from our village hall. Like so. And I think what we're going to do is connect connect there and I know I just upgraded that but I'm gonna I'm gonna kill that kill that piece and that piece so now Proctorville oh it isn't connected at all let me uh, let me go like that there we go now now Proctorville station is connected to everything else and um, we're, we're just going to uh, have some more people in our in our in our town. So let's go like this, like this, like so. Let's build out our build out a grid a little bit, and so we can build up. Uh, uh, Proctorville and our money's very low so why don't we just the easiest way in the world to get more money is to just expand your town particularly with with the uh, uh, laborers because it's a pretty cheap investment and we'll just have to watch our our potatoes to see if we need any more but we're actually pumping pumping tomato, potatoes at this moment as fast as we can go we got 2800 in there we're fine okay so uh, right now on fish, we'll use fish as our thing. Uh, I gotta run it for a second to get it to show production. Here we go. So 220. Let us put two more out here, bump that up to 240. Uh, two more fish. And we're gonna need, I think we're just gonna have one, two, three, uh, can we grow out here? Four, five. We'll just go out this way. And I'm, I'm going to use the stone roads because it does help to speed things up. Uh, we'll go here, here, here. Okay. 
There's five of them, so they're going to want to have uh, that. Let's see, run it for a second. Now, we need a market. This market can reach to here. So I think if we put a market, well, actually, if we just put one, we can actually fish this lake. So I think maybe we'll just do this. Let's, let's put a little road right here like this. And let's see where we can put a market that would, yeah, hit all that, hit all that. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, so we got a market. We got people working it. So we got plenty of fish, 320. Okay. So let's go 320. Ooh, uh, how many, how far do we want to go with this? So this market, actually, if we go like this, these people in here can use that market too. So we can see it, go, it comes way out here. So we can just build up this area right here. Let's just start right here. And something's wrong here. Two, four, two, I, I'm sorry, it just didn't look right. One, two, three, four, I goofed. Uh, four, now these folks are getting their water from uh, the brewery right over here. They're all in market range. Okay, let's put a water tower. Let's go as far as we can go and still get those right there. Put a water tower right there. There we go. And uh, now our potato consumption is 223. And down here it is, in Chesapeake it's 70 so we're at uh, 293 so potatoes are good uh, clothes our clothes are up to 252 we really need a just simple 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 report 252 334 334. Oh, well, we're making 360 on the bread and the clothes. I remember that from prior. So uh, we're cool on that. And we've got plenty of, of 360. We could, oh, shoot. Man, what a man. Really. I should. Really needs the reports. Yes, it's early access, but wow, this is. This is tough. Uh, I, I've got to write this stuff down, and that's that's no good. Now, if I had a really good memory or a really concentrated, I could probably not write this down. But the fact of the matter is, I I'm half asleep half the time. So <laughs> so let's write this down. Let's figure out where we are and where we want to be. Let's just let's just build. Uh, I, I used I liked when we first started. It was kind of building the town in 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 bunches of twenty that made sense. So if we're producing 320, if we're producing 320 on the fish, so we could run our town up up to that level, right? Where we got a uh, whole bunch of houses. Uh, we're consuming two, 223 in Proctorville. And then we do care about Chesapeake, not for the fish, but for the uh, potatoes and the and everything else. So let's get let's get our. I'm gonna write down the Chesapeake numbers. So uh, uh, potatoes seventy. Okay, and then uh, potatoes would be the same, be the same numbers as far as consumption and the clothes in Chesapeake are 82 and that would be the same for the bread it would have the same consumption 82 all right so we got we know what we need from Chesapeake so let's go back to Proctorville and if we were to bump this town up to 320 uh, we could add another hundred 
What's that? It's it's a hundred houses. <laughs> so so fine. We're just I just realized it's we're not talking about uh, uh, we're not talking about uh, what can I build? What's going on? Why can't I build this? I'm a little confused. Am I getting the wrong thing? I can't build it. Why can't I? I've got money. I've got... It doesn't take stone. I've got wood. I've got wood and money. Now let's run this for a second. Need another stone shipment to pull in. Here we go. Okay, I can't build that. Why not? Look at our income. It's actually gone negative in spite of the fact that these guys are making us money. Uh, um, one thing we do need to do is address the attractiveness. I just built a whole bunch of ugly stuff. So let's go, uh, let's paint uh, the town a little bit. Put in some stuff where we can. Put in some trees. Let's see, is there any place else? Down here and here. And we're probably going to need to extend our park a little bit. Now I can build it. Um, I would like to be able to say I totally get what's going on here, but I I, I lost something there. Don't know if it was. I, I just I, I really I don't know why I couldn't build those uh, the uh, build that, but we can now. Okay, now we can see our income climbing as we get people in here paying taxes. And the big one of the big reasons I'm doing this, besides just getting a little a little more money for now, is that you know we need to keep growing anyway, and uh, we're going to have need some um, some of these dudes, some craftsmen over here if we're going to run Proctorville South to support this, which takes craftsmen, and this, which takes craftsmen. So we're going to have to have a, a little pocket of craftsmen right in here unavoidable, which means we're going to need another bar, which is fine, which means we're going to need another brewery. All that stuff's going to cost us money, so I think it's a good idea to run our income up a little bit. Pretty things up. And you can see Proctorville South, see how there's no workers we don't have any uh trains going that way so to speak 
So we've got no problem there. And the one thing we can see here is our, everything's hanging in there. If we look at our production of, yeah, 360, uh, what are our new Proctorville numbers? We need 274 in clothing and 82 in Chesapeake. That's 356. We're making 360. See, we're barely, barely hanging in there. But we are. We've got enough. That's enough. And our money's back up. Okay, so so now we've we've um, kind of planted the seeds for uh, the next thing we're going to do, which is craftsman here. We're going to want to put a bar. Um, let me get the bar. Bar, bar, bar. I want to see what kind of a footprint it would have. Looks like if we put it maybe knock down one of these houses and still this spot right here will have a um, a good place to throw a bar and then we'll need another brewery we're already making enough hops I think we're good on the wheat so we should be good there okay so now we've gotten our income back up a little bit and we have set up the stage for the um, the whole cheese explosion and um yeah i think we're going to stop right there in the next episode we will uh, uh look into how are we going to get the cheese how are we going to transport the milk how are we going to transport the cheese how are we going to get both the both the dairy farm and the cheese factory working all that good stuff and that'll be in our next episode I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it will help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Sweet Transit video. Thank you.